Okay, so a student shared this riddle with me, so I thought I would share it with you. There are two ducks, and the two ducks are behind a duck. And then we find out there are two ducks in front of a duck. So those are the, these are the two things that we know. And we also know that there's a duck in the middle of the line. And by the line, we mean there's a line of ducks. So they're all standing in a row. So how many ducks are there on the line? Well, uh, when, we, when we hear that there are, there are two ducks behind a duck and, and two ducks in front of a duck, we are assuming that that means there are exactly two ducks behind one of the ducks and exactly two in front of the other. So not more than two or, or less than two, but exactly two. And if we assume that, well, then let's try to draw the smallest amount of ducks that fit this, fit these three requirements. We know we have a duck in the middle of the line. So this is duck number one, or duck A, let's say, or B, or whatever. Let's call it B. And it's in the middle. And then there's, two, there's a duck in the front, and behind that duck, there are two ducks. So these two ducks are behind this duck. And then we also know, so we have that, and we have the duck in the middle, that there are two ducks in front of a duck, any duck. So if we start with duck C, how many ducks are in front of C? Well, there are two in front. So we have two ducks in front of C, we have two ducks behind A, and we have two ducks in the middle. So how many ducks is that? Well, that's three. And I like this riddle because we only need three ducks to satisfy all of these requirements. All right, I hope you enjoyed that.